Welcome back to Land to House. Em and I are off to the library here in a moment and uh, gonna read some books. In the last vlog, there was some concern about me using the camera while in the car. And so uh, I'm gonna be using this suction cup for the GoPro on my windshield and that will uh, prevent me from having to hold the camera. And so it's just a little bit safer. Let's see how well I can uh, install it here. I think that's gonna be uh, pretty non-intrusive there. And so I can just loosen this piece and adjust the angle there and uh, should do quite well. I can also adjust this one and turn it toward me a little bit. All right, let me plop you up there and see what you think. Seems pretty good. Hopefully uh, there's not much vibration on the windshield. Let's give it a try here. The G7X is actually really good about not uh, showing a lot of vibration because of the uh, auto stabilizer that's in there. But uh, ah, I'm seeing some shaking, especially on this gravel road. But anyway, definitely a lot safer than... Uh, uh -oh. There you go. Okay, juice cup. Okay, let's go off to the library. If you watch back on my videos, typically I am filming while on about three different roads. And uh, two of those three are uh, middle of nowhere back roads. So uh, like on the road I'm on right now, there's probably only about 50 cars a day that travel this road. Uh, so it's not too uh, concerning with that, but I do understand that it's not good to hold a camera and drive at the same time. So this will be a lot better. Uh, but anyway, hopefully it's not too shaky and uh, usable for this footage for this trip. So anyway, okay, off to the library. Good morning. So I'm out here in the shop and I'm working on the coffee mug holder. Yeah. So uh, it's turning out okay, I think. I'm just slowly putting these together. Uh, I think it's going to hold 45 total, which is pretty good. I probably could have made things a little smaller. Like, I mean, these are 7 inches, so way too big. But uh, it's going to do okay. And uh, on the back side, I was trying just to glue things. And I decided that I better put some nails in here. And uh, I was going to get a, a nail gun from a friend of mine, a uh, finish nailer, but he couldn't find it. So what I'm doing is using the drill and then just putting more of these finishing nails in here. And I may have to come back with a punch and get those in a little bit better. But anyway, it's coming along. So uh, while that next set there is, uh, while the glue is setting up, I think I'm going to work some on the camera gantry. Ugh. So here is the plan. Uh, previously, I had tried to use linear bearings. Um, they didn't work. So I don't know if you can see it too well from here, but uh, it's linear bearings on these uh, tracks. I'm going to keep the track idea, but I'm going to do an adjustment. I'm going to be using these U-Groove wheels as the, uh, the new sliders. Uh, so that will be on the top, and I'm going to space them out by about a foot, so I shouldn't have racking. And then on the bottom of the track, I'm going to use these little wheels here that also have bearings in them. And uh, we'll just see how well it goes. But So uh, I'm going to go ahead and try and take down those linear bearings and see what I can do. Well, I'm not proud to say that I've spent most of the day trying to get this track system perfected. And uh, it's getting there. Uh, definitely preventing it from racking by using these two lower wheels and then have the upper wheels here that will allow it to uh, smoothly glide here. But now I need to figure out how to keep this thing from falling off. So uh, I'm kind of considering just putting a, a board across the top here and then down this side and to just let it rest along that track. Um, but anyway, it's uh, definitely a challenge, 
But uh, I think I'm gonna take a break from this and work some more down here on the coffee mug holder. Okay, I'm gonna stop there for now. And uh, as far as this goes, just gonna have to think on it. I was trying this right here out, but then decided it was, uh, I'd cut too much. But anyway, definitely gonna have to think about some stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go inside and spend time with the family for a bit. Um, just a quick little rant. Ashley's very pregnant and emotional, and so I'm trying to stay on her good side. Okay, that's all. Do -do -do. Yep, we've got to clean Wally's hands when he goes outside. If he gets on your mom's carpet, we're all doomed. Yeah, dirty. Yes, dirty. Shoo! Shoo! Squeak, squeak! Oh. Here comes a mouse. Squeak, squeak, squeak! Come back, mouse, come back. Ooh, and the big cow. Blah, 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 blah. Everybody look out, it's a big cow. Big cow. Big cow. It's a bed. The bed? What color is the bed? Blue. Blue bed? Blue bed. Today is just going to be a hangout around the house day. We're spending a lot of time with Emma before she goes off to uh, stay the night with my parents' house. Uh, I am going through the items I'm taking to the hospital. Um, we're gonna get up pretty early and head over there. So, uh, I showed before that I've got things like chips, some jerky, some rice cakes, some more chips, some uh, protein bars, jar of peanut butter, and then some clothes. <laughs> so I got uh, pants, underwear, socks, that kind of thing. Um, so hopefully that'll be enough. I'm also taking a uh, Land House ultralight camping pad available on Amazon and at landahouse.com. <laughs> Last time when we were in the hospital for Emma, we were there for three days. And so I was sleeping on the floor with some towels. Uh, quite uncomfortable. But this time, hopefully, we'll be more prepared, and hopefully, it won't be that uh, traumatic. Um, so, anyway, uh, other things I'm going to need: uh, toiletries and uh, like charging cable, batteries for the camera. I didn't really film anything during Emma, and so this time, we're bringing both of our cameras and uh, going to try and just get a, a vlog of the whole experience. Not the whole experience, but most of it, if you know what I mean. So uh, anyway, I'm going to continue to pack the bag and get things ready to go. Ashley has asked that uh, we step outside for a little while because she is filming the baby's room tour and uh, the name reveal. So if you want to see that video, uh, it's going to be out in a couple of days. You can go over to her channel, which I just mentioned that a little while ago, um, but uh, she really is trying. So. If you head over there, hit the subscribe button, she'd really appreciate it. Uh, as a fairly new or small channel, she gets really excited when there's a new subscriber. Uh, in the past week, she's had... Mm. Oh no. Oh, come here. Oh dear. She's fine. Just been walking for almost two years, but uh, those rocks still get her. <laughs> so uh, do subscribe to Ashley she'd appreciate it so uh, tomorrow morning we're gonna be up at uh, 3 a.m. to get to the big city by uh, 6 it's our drive we need to get ready and stuff uh, Emma's gonna spend the night with my mom and dad for the evening uh, or two or three depending on how long this is gonna be uh, so we're gonna be quite busy uh, that being said I'm gonna close up the vlog here uh, shortly, but I want to show you the uh, new XPS 15 laptop I bought. It's really amazing. 
Uh, my MacBook Pro that I've been using is a 2010, so uh, it's got a lot of age on it now, almost uh, 10 years. And so upgrading to something new has been eye-opening, uh, but really appreciated. Also, two or three weeks ago, I updated uh, to Adobe CC. Oh, this is a really steep hill. <laughs> uh, I like it. You want to go see the chickens? Okay. Chickens. So yeah, Adobe CC is a big improvement from CS6, which is like a 2012. So anyway, exciting stuff. Do you think Wally's going to scare those chickens? Think Wally's gonna scare them? Wally! No, no! No, no, the chicken to watch. Touch. Play chicken. Play chickens. There's those chickens. Fuck fuck chickens. Okay, I wanted to show you this Dell XPS 15 real quick. You walked into her? I walked into her. Oh no. <laughs> oh man, things are never dull around this house. <laughs> <laughs> I literally go, whoop, and right over her. <laughs> oh, hmm. Road, Roadkill. Well, thank you so much for watching this vlog. The next time you see us, we should be uh, holding a newborn, which will be exciting and scary. But thank you so much for watching. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.